so viewers in this presentation we will discuss about phase shift oscillator uh, how we will make this phase shift of oscillator in a lab and for uh, for this uh, presentation we will simulate this result using magazine 14.2 uh, in laboratory we can very easily make a phase shift oscillator using 741 open the two is the inverting terminal three is the non-inverting terminal the non-inverting terminal is grounded and the output is feedback through this CR section three CR section to the inverting terminal and uh, the condition for the sustained oscillation comes out to be RF by R is equal to minus 29 and the frequency of oscillation is 1 by twice by RC root over 6 so uh, let's move to the multi sim so here uh, we have the we have the circuit and uh, in this circuit we have taken 7 for 1 open uh, plus VCC we have put 15 volt at uh, 7 pin and uh, minus 15 volt to 4 pin and output is recorded from 6 pin and uh, there is a C section and uh, here uh, we have taken this capacitance to be 0 0.001 microfarad and resistance is 10 kilo ohm and similarly uh, here in this circuit uh, we will see a feedback through this RF which we have taken to be 500 kilo ohm because we are taking 10 kilo ohm 29 times the 10 kilo ohm is 290 kilo ohm so once that ratio is maintained then only the oscillation gets sustained so for that we have used a potentiometer now let us uh, simulate this result uh, let us simulate this circuit now and see that uh, we will have a uh, sinusoidal waveform and uh, output voltage we have recorded and that uh, re recorded voltage is near about to 10.2 volt and uh, the frequency of oscillation comes out to be 5.69 kilohertz so I have we can record this using a this type of table in which the different value of C and R theoretical value and experimental value two are recorded uh, here the uh, theoretical value we have taken 0 0.001 microfarad resistance is 10 the experimental value comes out to be 5.69 but the theoretical value is 6.497 now uh, we will do this experiment for other values of C so first uh, stop the simulation and uh, let us change this capacitance uh, to 0 0.01 0 0.1 see first we take for with point, uh, uh, point 0.1 point 0.1 microfarad and here also we will take point 0.1 microfarad point 0.1 microfarad and here also we will change it to point 0.1 microfarad 0.1 microfarad now we will do the simulation we will simulate the circuit and see now we can slightly move this wiper So we see that there is a growth in the output voltage here also the so let us output 
be somewhat distorted so it is it can tie out More or less right. So the frequency comes out to be sixty four point one hertz and uh, uh, sixty four point one hertz, but the theoretical value comes out to be sixty four point nine seven. So in this way, we can record it. Again, we stop the simulation. We change this uh, value of capacitance to 0 0.01, and uh, let's see the results. What result comes? 0 0.01. After that, we will simulate it. Let us change the wiper a little bit. Yeah, now it start oscillating. Recorded frequency is near about 640 Hz. Uh, that is the by experimental results, which comes 640, and theoretically it comes out to be 649.7. So we see that experimental result and theoretical results are more or less same. Also, if we now fix the capacitance to 0 0.01, we can change the value of R, and uh, we can also see the various frequency of oscillation. Uh, we can have the desired frequency of oscillation by choosing the suitable value of CNR also. So in this way, in this uh, presentation, we see that uh, we can make a phase shift oscillator in a breadboard using a 741 open. We can simulate the result through multi-sim also. So thanks for watching.